first you'll see this mixture is much thicker than the mixture I've just mixed. It's a bit runny this one. So what we need to do, just to firm it up so it doesn't bleed on the screen, I've got a little bit of high plus ball clay. So you can just buy that again from Bath Potter, it's really cheap. It's just a, a type of clay that it's just a standard um, standard clay. I'll put a bit in. Again, do it by eye just to get it to the thickness you want. Just mix it through. What this will also do is it will further the mix slightly, it will give you more quantity uh, of your mix. But as you can see it does slightly change the colour, but what you've got to remember is that won't be your actual colour once it's been fired, that's what you've got to work out, okay? Come together now. What you can do is maybe add a bit more stain, just to pull the colour back slightly. It's coming together now nicely. This is what we want. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue, the same amount as what I put in to begin with. Mix that through. So this is the kind of consistency that we want. It's almost like uh, yoghurt, a thick yoghurt consistency. That can then be transferred into a named pot that can then be stored, okay? So what we're going to do now, always try and work cleanly. The thing with um, working with ceramics, it's bad for your health if you don't. If you're working with it all the time, you should always work cleanly. So, I'm just going to fold this paper out of the way. So, printing. I'm going to put a piece of paper down. and mask that onto your area. What that will do is just give you a bit of padding. Okay. I'll take the tissue. Sure it's flat. Take your screen, place your screen with your pen so it's not touching the paper. So I basically place my pen like that so it doesn't touch. Take your medium and place a line of medium. I'll show you now. Cross one end just my line of medium across one end. So now we're going to what's called bleed the screen. Pull your medium through the screen to the other end. 
with the screen not touching the tissue. And I'm going to remove my pen, lay down, pull through again. Okay, there we are. So pull up. Okay. There's the first. Slightly bled, slightly. Sometimes it does on the first pull. It's always best to have things ready, otherwise it can be a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to do things. You've got to have it all prepared. I'm just placing on this time. I'm not going to bleed the screen this time. Just on the first one. Pull through. Pull up. And there's your print. Okay. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how to then print onto the ceramic surface with a wet and a dry deco.